Good morning, game show fans, and welcome to Press Your Luck Band Books Edition, where librarians from throughout California compete to try to find wonderful works of literature that have not been banned. Those who choose works that have been banned will have to face the whammy. So let's get to our first contestant, uh, Jennifer Baker from the St. Helena Public Library, who has read Gone with the Wind 20 times. It's one of her favorite books, so let's hear from Jennifer. I'm reading from Chapter 27. Turn me this way, honey. You run down the stairs quick and through the backyard toward the swamp. Mommy will, Mommy will be there and Aunt Melly. Run quickly, darling, and don't be afraid. At the change in her tone, the boy looked up and Scarlet was appalled at the look in his eyes, like a baby rabbit in a trap. Oh, mother of God, she prayed. Don't let him have a convulsion. Not, not before the Yankees. They mustn't know we are afraid. And as the child only gripped her skirt the tighter, she said clearly, Be a little man, Wade. They're only a passel of damn Yankees. And she went down the steps to meet them. Oh, too bad for Jennifer. Turns out Gone with the Wind has been banned plenty of times. Let's go to our next contestant, Jody Meza from the Orland Free Public Library, who's going to uh, take her chances with The Picture of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde. Those who find ugly meanings in beautiful things are corrupt without being charming. This is a fault. Those who find beautiful meanings in beautiful things are the cultivated. For these, there is hope. They are the elect to whom beautiful things mean only beauty. There is no such thing as a moral or an immoral book. Books are well written or badly written, that is all. Oh, I would have thought Jody would have had a great chance there with little Oscar Wilde, but no such luck. Uh, so moving on to our next contestant, uh, Coral Henning from the Sacramento County Public Law Library is going to share a segment from the timeless love story, Lady Chatterley's Lover. So let's hope she doesn't hit the whammy. Yet it was spring and the bluebells were coming in the wood and the leaf buds on the hazels were opening like the spatter of green rain. How terrible it was that it should be spring and everything cold-hearted, cold-hearted. Only the hens fluffed so wonderfully on the eggs were warm with their hot, brooding female bodies. <laughs> Connie felt herself living on the brink of fainting all the time. Well, better luck next time, Coral. We've got time for one more contestant on this episode of Press Your Luck Band Books Edition, and we're lucky to have with us library consultant extraordinaire Joan Fry Williams, who's going to press her luck with James Joyce's Ulysses. So let's turn it over to Joan. This is uh, Bloom speaking. Pigeon breasted, bottle shouldered, padded, a nondescript juvenile gray and black striped suit too small for him, white tennis shoes, bordered stockings with turnover tops, and a red school cap with a badge. I was in my teens, a growing boy, a little then sufficed, a jolting car, the mingling odors of the ladies' cloakroom and lavatory, the throng pinned tight on the old royal stairs, where they love crushes, instinct of the herds, the dark sex-smelling theater, unbridled vice. Even a crisis of their hosiery, and then the heat. There were sunspots that summer. End of school, tipsy cake, house Well, better luck next time, Joan. I'm afraid that's all the time we have today for Press Your Luck Band Books Edition. From all of us here in California, wishing you and your libraries the very best in avoiding any book bannings and avoiding the whammy. Thanks for playing. We'll see you next time. No whammies. No whammies.